Take that, Sam Smith haters. And you almost won't recognise Britney Spears in these new racy pics. Was that Britney? Wow. If there's three people I would pay money not to be in a fight with, it'd be Arnold Schwarzenegger, Miriam, and probably ASAP Rocky. But some tough guys in New Zealand jumped the hip hop star in a hotel elevator after his recent show in Auckland. We're talking about ASAP Rocky here, not Rocky Balboa. He was apparently in the elevator with a bunch of girls at 3 a.m. when three men tried to join the group, but ASAP said there wasn't enough room, and that's all it took to start the brawl, which resulted in the artist getting hit in the head while trying to protect his lady friends. ASAP putting his life on the line what a gentleman. Security eventually had to break up the altercation, which saw one 35-year-old man charged with the resisting police arrest. Rocky himself escaped the scene unharmed. What about the girls? Oh, I'm sure Rocky took good care of them. The Academy Awards didn't disappoint on Sunday night, and neither did Sam Smith. He took home the Oscar for Best Original Song for his James Bond theme, Writings on the Wall. The 23-year-old hardly had any time to play with his glowing new toy, though, before coming under fire for his gay, proud acceptance speech. The controversy surrounds Sam's choice of words. After Popstar boasted he was the first openly gay male to win an Academy Award, but of course, screenwriter Dustin Lance Black heard this, who is also gay and also won a gold statue for Milk back in 2009. Black was quick to remind Sam that he hadn't done his homework. Nevertheless, it's a win for Sam and a big fat win for quality. Here, here. Sadly, Smithy is shutting down his Twitter account now after being made to constantly defend himself online since Sunday night's event. He's really been copping it, not only in relation to his speech, but also his performance. Come on, all that negativity could really take the shine off your Oscar, you know? No one wants that. He pulled the plug with one last post using the words of the great James Bond himself. Logging off for a while, some martinis shaken not stirred are definitely in order. Go get them, Sammy boy. Holy hottie alert. You might do a double take when you first check these pics out. Britney Spears is Baba Voom on the cover of V Magazine. To celebrate the mag's 100th this year, Britney graces the cover and features inside with a series of sultry shots wearing a smoking hot Balmain bodysuit and proving we're not even close to seeing her last iconic hair flip. Oops, I think I'm in love. Britney definitely hasn't left behind any teenage dreams this time. She's currently in the second year of her Las Vegas residency shows and we've heard that she's working on a ninth studio album. Tip to be the best thing she's done in a long, long time. And apparently it's very different to all of her previous releases. Uh, but what kind of man is she looking for? Apparently Britney wants a hot nerd with a quote unquote big penis. So her perfect man is half Bill Gates, half the game, half Ron Jeremy. I'm not sure if you maths add up there, Mirrors, but if one guy who does look like he's been taking care of himself is Britney's slightly unstable, but definitely bigger supporter, the Leave Britney Alone super fan. Leave Britney alone! How can we forget this guy? We didn't. Well, some fresh pics have recently emerged of the then blonde Britney lover who went viral back in 2007 with his emo Leave Britney Alone video. And it really looks like he's got his act together since then. Chris Crocker, who's also a singer, stunned the internet yet again by posting these jaw-dropping pics of himself showing off his amazing transformation. I reckon he could still pull off the guy liner though. I'm Miriam. And I'm Ryde. Thanks for watching.